What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to talk about some of the changes to the infusion system with the Forsaken expansion. There are some pretty big differences going from year one to year two and there has been some confusion about what exactly you need to infuse and how to best get ready for that. So in this video I'm going to talk about those changes and also give my recommendations on how you can best get ready so that when Forsaken comes out you're not waiting around to get materials you can infuse things right away. Right now I am on Titan and I do have a piece of armor or two pieces of armor and one weapon that can be infused. So I have a pair of gauntlets, I have a pair of boots, and I also have an auto rifle. So let's look at the armor first. One thing to point out right away, for my gauntlets I can only infuse these with other Titan gauntlets. So if I were to transfer a pair of Warlock gauntlets over to this Titan character, I couldn't use those to infuse. So it's not quite back to Destiny 1. It is limited by the class that you are. You also notice right away too that if I want to infuse these Terra Concord Fists, I can only do that with higher power gear. Makes sense. But you'll notice there that the cost of infusion is much, much higher than it was in year one. Not only do you need to have a lot more glimmer, but you also need to have legendary shards. And the biggest difference is you need to have a planetary material. So these gauntlets require phase glass needles to level them up, to infuse them. Phase glass needles being found on Io. If I go here and look at the boots, likewise, these Devastation Complex boots, in order to level these up, if I look at the infusion and I look at the legendary armor, not only do I need to have a lot more glimmer, a lot more legendary shards, but these need alkane dust, which of course is found here on Titan. So that's the biggest difference right away to infuse all your weapons and armor, you need to have a certain planetary material. Another thing that is worth pointing out is if I were to infuse these with the rare armor, you'll notice that the cost of infusion goes up. No longer does it only cost 2,500 glimmer, but now it costs 3,500 glimmer to rank these things up. Same thing for legendary shards, that is bumped up from 10 to 15. So it's worthwhile to be mindful about trying to maybe wait until you have some legendaries to infuse just so you're not spending as much glimmer and shards. The amount of planetary materials is the same from blue to purple so it's always going to cost you 10. Last but not least if I were to infuse these legendary boots with an exotic then you'll notice that I don't need to use any legendary shards and the amount of glimmer is cut down pretty significantly. Of course, the planetary materials is still the same. It's still going to cost you 10 no matter what you're infusing into your armor. Likewise, if I go over here to a auto rifle that I have, so this auto rifle can be infused. You'll notice right away that I can infuse this with a number of different items. I can infuse this with, with any primary weapon. So even though this is an auto rifle, I can infuse this with a pulse rifle. I can infuse it with a scout. I can even infuse it with a hand cannon but you'll notice that the materials is still going to be consistent. You need to have 10 planetary materials to do any infusion. So same deal applies. Try to be more mindful about infusing this with a legendary or an exotic if you have extra ones. That'll help you out big time. The other thing too is how do you get more planetary materials? So you're going to need a ton of these things to do all the infusions that you're ultimately going to have to do with Forsaken. So what's the best way of doing that? Well, You'll notice here that I am on Titan. I do need alkane dust for a number of these different materials. And beforehand, to get tokens or to get materials, the only, only thing you could do is look around for where they spawn on the map. Now, to make that a little bit easier, you could always use a ghost that gives you better detection. So right here I have a ghost that gives me uh, the ability to detect any caches within 40 meters. So now that I have that equipped, I should be able to run around pretty quickly and find those planetary materials. But that's going to be slow though. If, I, if all I'm doing is going around and collecting alkane dust from the spawn points on the map, that's going to take me forever. But a big change here from year one to year two is any chest that you find is going to give you alkane dust. That's going to give me four of them. That's a pretty good amount. Any high value target chest is likewise going to give you the planetary material and any lost sector is going to give you the planetary material so not only can you find a bunch by collecting where they spawn you can get a couple at a time that way but if you have a ghost that lets you find the chests the chest pretty quick 
you'll be able to get a good amount of planetary materials that way. The other thing too is now public events also give you planetary materials. So that's going to be a way where you can really get a lot of those things very, very quickly. Again, the, the planetary tokens have more or less been phased out. So you shouldn't have an issue getting a lot of planetary materials by just doing your, your normal farming, by going to that location, doing public events, equipping a ghost that's going to allow you to find the caches a bit faster. You could, if you do know the spawn points a little bit better, you could use a ghost that gives you a chance at additional consumables. So I could right now, I could switch over to this ghost shell, which will give me a better chance or give me a chance to get additional alkane dust when I'm looting caches and, and lost sector chests and all those things. But I think for the most part, it'd probably be a bit faster just to use a ghost that gives you that increased range of seeing where they're spawning at. So that's the biggest change. You shouldn't have an issue getting the, the planetary materials. I think more than likely what's going to be the choke point, oddly enough, would be the glimmer. Um, I know that people were saying, hey, all along we didn't have enough to spend our glimmer on. Well, this is going to be a big change here and probably one where you have to be cognizant of how you're spending your glimmer because the last thing you want to do is get a really awesome piece of armor or a really cool weapon and not have enough glimmer to infuse. So as long as you're doing these things, you should always have enough of the planet type item you need to infuse but most importantly though just be mindful about infusing it with legendaries where you can to lower that cost and best case scenario is if you have multiple exotics you can use one of those to really cut down on the amount of materials you need to infuse your weapons and armor so hopefully this was helpful hopefully this helps clear up any of the, of the confusion I know a lot of people were kind of taken or caught off guard about that change but let me know if this was helpful let me know if you're excited for Forsaken like I am most importantly, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll catch up soon.